Good morning, Centurions. I'm Lexi. And I'm Ainsley, and this is Channel 907 News. Now let's check out what's coming your way for lunch. We have a change in today's lunch menu. Choices are chicken and waffles or Texas barbecue. Thanks for keeping us up with the lunch, Leah. Now let's check out the weather forecast with Hannah. Today for weather, we will have a high of 84 and a low of 59. For the rest of the week, there will be a high of 80s and a low of 60s. That's it for weather. Back to y'all in the studio. Thanks for that report, Hannah. Now let's check out sports with Maddie. Thanks, guys. Today for sports, your girls soccer and boys baseball teams were away at Northmore on Thursday. We will get you the scores as soon as possible. Both teams will be playing against Cranes Creek for their final game at Union Pines. Come out and support them as their seasons draw to a close. That's it for sports. Back to you on the studio. Thanks for that sports report, Maddie. Now let's check out the same history with Dixie. On April 29, 2004, the World War II Memorial opens in Washington, D.C. to thousands of visitors, providing overdue recognition for the 16 million U.S. men and women who served in the war. The memorial is located on 7.4 acres of the form on f the former site of the Rainbow Pool at the National Mall between the U.S. Monument, Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial. Thanks for those historical facts, Dixie. Don't forget your science check-in is on Thursday. Looks like that's it for today, Centurions. Don't have, have a good, good day. day. Have, have a great, great day. day.